If you clicked on this video because your baby is suffering from really severe diaper rash, I'm gonna give you what worked for my babies today and nothing that my doctors recommended worked. I consulted with my wound care doctor who helped my baby who has severe deep tissue wounds, who knows a lot about skin integrity and all that kind of stuff. She, the specialist who we have in our you know, life, she's the one who helped us and the typical like pediatrician recommendations just weren't working for the boys they lived with this horrible fungal open angry diaper rash for way too long the good news is all the creams that i'm going to recommend to you today just get them on amazon you don't have to wait on the phone forever with the pharmacy with an urgent care doctor with a pediatrician um, spending a ton of money on these antifungal creams that's just my little introduction so if you're here because your baby's dealing with that kind of diaper rash I hope you try what I recommend and definitely leave me a comment and let me know if this helps here's the little background to see if what your baby is dealing with fits with the description that my babies were dealing with so if you're babies have diaper rash that is like speckled and open and irritated and angry and it's not resolving with the typical like frequent diaper changes getting them nice and clean and nice and dry leaving them open to air for a nice long amount of time using a zinc oxide based or a zinc based diaper cream um, you know, those are all the typical recommendations that the doctor was giving us. Oh, a uh, baking soda bath. You know, those were the generic diaper rash recommendations that we were getting from the pediatricians. And then on top of it, they were giving us an antifungal cream prescription for these little tubes that were like that big that um, were expensive, really expensive. <laughs> and uh, weren't doing anything okay so the boys I have twins just so you know if you don't know who I am I have little twin boys and this diaper rash started for my boys when they switched from formula to cow's milk and at the same time of that transition we also transitioned from like all soft pureed food to table food so they had a big change in their diet and they had a change in their bowel situation and with that came diaper rash i felt like their little skin could not get a break i just felt so bad for my boys i did not know what to do then a light bulb went off for me when i realized i have a resource in my back pocket my, my uh, son's wound care nurse practitioner my son if you have not been following along with me experienced deep tissue wounds like no baby should ever experience. <laughs> and we had to see plastic surgery and a wound care nurse practitioner. And she helped heal these wounds so beautifully. She knew all the products to use for wound care and skin healing. And we had a follow up appointment with her, appointment with her for Gabriel's wounds, my son's wounds. And I thought, let me just ask her about this diaper rash, see if she knows anything about diaper rash. I don't want to abuse my relationship with her, but like maybe she has something to say about diaper rash. And she was like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad you asked. Well, first of all, she said, the open to air concept, leaving a baby's skin open to air, isn't that, she's a real straight shooter. She's real like direct and to the point and her delivery is pretty intense. But that's why she's so good at what she does. I mean, she's she's the best of the best. Um, but, you know, she was like pretty straightforward saying, you know, leaving the baby's skin open to air only inconveniences the parent because, you know, they will poop and pee all over the play mat wherever they were. And, you know, that 10 minutes of open to air time that they have, is that really going to kill the bacteria that's living? there no you need a cream that's gonna seal off i'm i'm talking like i know something i'm trying to quote what she said the cream that she recommended 
I will put a link to this cream in the description because it is not a prescription. I think um, you can have it written as a prescription, but you can get it over Amazon. I got it over Amazon. And it's called like Sakura Antifungal Extra Thick. And it's by Smith & Nephew. I think that's the brand, but I will put a link to this cream on Amazon in the description below so that you can check it out. But um, I'll tell you the whole regimen that she recommended. So she said, forget the whole open to air concept, forget the baking soda baths, this cream will do it for you. So it's an antifungal cream that she recommended using for two weeks. You apply it really thick, like a really thick layer to it. And these bottles that I got were four ounces or something, they weren't huge. But um, I would go through these bottles pretty fast because I have the two babies who have the identical diaper rash. Two weeks or a little bit longer depending on how long it takes for the actual open wounds to heal. So I think in total for us, we actually used it for two and a half or three weeks or something until the actual wounds closed. And then for a week following the um, Smith & Nephew Antifungal Extra Thick, it's the extra thick cream that you wanna use. The following week, you use triple paste AF. Not just regular triple paste, but triple paste AF, which is triple paste antifungal. So then you use that for a week following and I will put a link to that product in the description. Again, get it on Amazon. And then for all of the diaper changes moving forward after that week of triple paste AF, because even though, she said, even though the wounds might be healed after you use the Smith & Nephew, you still wanna make sure you kill off whatever the bacteria is or the fungus is with the triple paste AF and it's a little more easy on the skin. So that's why you do the extra week, even once the wounds are healed, of the triple paste AF. And then, moving forward, after a week of the triple paste AF, you use Sensi Care. Again, a link to that is in the description box below. And the Sensi Care is just regular diaper cream, but I um, believe she. I'm not an expert in wound care. I'm not an expert in any of this stuff. I'm not an expert in any of this stuff. I'm just saying it because it freaking saved our lives. It saved everything. And this was such a source of stress for me for a really long time. And I'm sharing it because it saved my life. And it really actually worked. So sense of care, I think her claim to fame with that was that it has little, um, I think the way it is, it has little beads in it. It kind of feels like um, sandpaper almost. It's, it's not smooth. It has little crystal type things. And because of the way that is, um, it's, it sticks to the skin and doesn't allow moisture to get through rather as opposed to other diaper creams that might just wipe off and let moisture get through. I think that's what she said. Um, you know, she was the wound care nurse at the hospital where my boys were when they were born, the NICU. Um, and she was there. She actually told me that she brought Sensacare diaper cream to that hospital. With her knowledge and her expertise, she educated the staff there about Sensacare. And so that is the diaper cream that they use for their babies in the NICU there uh, who have a little bit of diaper irritation. So I'm just saying she she has done wonders for my baby uh, with his wounds and now she's done wonders in terms of their diaper rash and these are all very easily accessible items and products to everybody and I'm not saying that it will work for everybody. I'm saying that it worked for my boys. All of the products she recommended and the rationale behind each of them made so much sense to me and they were the only thing that worked. And believe me, I gave everything a good go. I gave everything a fair shot. I tried from all the other pediatricians. It's over because of the products that are wound care 
specialist recommended to us. And yeah, I hope I explained everything well. Smith & Nephew Antifungal Extra Thick Cream for two weeks or until the wounds close and heal. Triple paste AF for a week following the Sakura Antifungal Extra Thick. And then Sensi Care at every diaper change. And I think that's it. <laughs> that's all I have for you. I hope the diaper rash gets better. If that is what you're dealing with, I am so sorry. I know how upsetting it is. So again, leave me a comment and let me know if you tried this and if it helped. And I guess leave me a comment with questions and maybe I can answer them, but I'm also not the expert. So I might not be able to answer all your questions about this. I just wanted to share some helpful information with you. I hope this gets better and I hope you're doing well and having a happy start to your new year, I guess. And I will see you in my next video. Okay, bye.